Okay, let's look at how to use statdisk.com and we'll do uh, problem number eight out of the homework um, as an example. This is not an assigned problem, but it's pretty similar to the ones that are assigned. And I want you to notice too, the first two homework problems, uh, one and three, are just kind of thought questions, but notice the instructions between four and five. Uh, there they say, for each problem, find the mean, median, mode, and mid-range. And they're also probably gonna have a thought question as well. So when we're here at number eight, we are definitely trying to find the mean, median, mode, mid-range, and then answer any other questions they might have. Okay, so number eight says uh, crash test tests, crash tests of child booster seats for cars. Um, so we're doing crash tests of booster seats. And the measurements are given in HIC, which is not a measurement I'm familiar with, but it's head injury criterion. According to the safety requirement, measurements should be less than 1,000. Do the results suggest that all child booster seats meet the requirements? Okay, so let's first of all just work on getting the mean, median, mode, and mid-range, because that's the requirement for all of these problems. And again, you could certainly do this on your calculator, but let's look at stat disk. Uh, so when you go to statdisk.com and first log in, you should, should see something that looks basically like this. There's kind of a blank spreadsheet. And over here on the left is kind of a history of some recent things you might have done. Uh, this might be blank for you, uh, but I've done a few things here already. Um, so this is the sample editor. This is where we put our data. Uh, so let's start just by typing in the data. Uh, so 774, 649, 1210, 546, 431, and 612. Okay, so now that I've got those typed in, let me just pull this up so we can focus on it. And so we have our data. And up here at the top, uh, there's analysis, data, data sets. So we want under um, data. What we're heading for right now is explore the data. We need some descriptive statistics. Uh, so go ahead and click on that. And it is going to give you a bunch of results. Oh, sorry. First of all, we need to select the column. That's not smart enough to know we only type things into one column, but we did and it was the first one. So. Uh, select that first column and then hit evaluate and it's giving us a bunch of information here uh, way more than we need right now um, so you'll notice that we do have the mean um, let's see i don't know if i can draw on this oh nope uh, but we've got the mean right there uh, we've got the median right there uh, we have the mid-range right there so those are three of the four things that we need. Uh, this listing does not give the mode or modes. Uh, so we're gonna have to figure that stuff out on our own if there are any modes or not. Um, there's a whole bunch of other information here, some of which we'll use in the future, some of which we won't. Uh, notice they made a histogram over here. Uh, they didn't do a great job with the histogram uh, because there's gaps between the bars. It's really not a proper histogram. Uh, there's a box plot, which we'll talk about later, and there's lots of other information that we will talk about later. But for the moment, we just need to copy down the mean, uh, median, and mid-range. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and jot those numbers down. Uh, oops. Uh, so when I draw on that, the other one goes away. Um, technology. Let's see here. Um, uh, yeah, okay, I probably can't do that, but the mean is 703.7. And the median is 630.5. And the mid-range is 820.5. Uh, 
Um, the mode or modes, depending, there might be more than one. Uh, we'll just have to look at the data ourselves and say, okay, there are no repeated numbers in there, so there's no mode. Okay, um, fair enough. If you want to know and use the proper symbol, uh, the mean and the median both have symbols. Uh, the other two don't really, but the mean, uh, when you're working with sample data, uh, the mean is written like that as an X bar. Uh, that's the actual name of that symbol is X bar, and it's X with a little bar on top. And the median is done with X tilde, which is the name of the little curvy bar on top. Uh, so when you look in the back of the book, and you should be looking in the back of the book, all the odd numbered problems have their answers in the back. Uh, they'll probably uh, express the answers using those symbols. Uh, and I'll definitely want you to be familiar with those symbols. There might be times on a test where I just give you something with one of those symbols and I'll want you to know, oh, that means the median, or that means the mean. Uh, okay, so let's go back and answer the last question here. It says, do the results suggest that all child booster seats meet the specified requirement? The specified requirement being less than 1,000. The centers, the measures of center, are all less than 1,000. 700, 630, 820. Uh, but that's not the question. They're not asking about the center of the data. They're saying, do the, do the results suggest that all child booster seats meet the specified requirements? And even though this is just a sample of child booster seats, they only measured six, apparently. Even out of those six, there's one right here uh, that doesn't meet the requirement. Um, so that doesn't suggest to me that all of them meet the specified requirements. Maybe a lot of them do, uh, but not all. So I'll just say something like no. Not all booster seats. meet the less than 1,000 requirement. Okay, uh, so we are now done with question number eight. Um, as you're going through these problems, definitely don't neglect uh, this extra thought question. I'll be looking to see not only if you have the mean, median, mode, and mid-range for each problem, uh, but if you also have the answer to their additional thought question. All right, good luck with the homework.